Hey guys, welcome in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. Please thank you. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. This is a general reading for my uh, mutable signs. Gemini, Virgo, Sag, Pisces, <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this is a general reading, so it won't resonate for everyone. Please take what you need and throw the rest out. I will also have an extended reading after this if you decide that you um, want to follow along a little bit more into the story. Um, the details are in the description box below on how to order it. Um, what we're looking at in this, in this particular video is strictly related to your energy and what's going on with you. In the extended, we'll look at someone who is energetically connected to you how they're looking at the situation and what's going on with them and then we'll dig down um, with oracle advice i would just say watch all three videos because they're all very closely related to one another the story is kind of similar but now i'm seeing something in this on this particular board that i didn't even recognize in the other boards so Again, this is a general reading. It won't resonate for everyone, but this I do see on the board here where it's very specific, a man and two women um, and a choice, needing to, make a joy, needing to make a choice between these two that's going to lead to their happiness. Um, yeah, because they've been trying to maintain two very separate situations. Somebody walked away from the situation caused a tower moment and this person was trying to hold on to two very separate situations that was causing them conflict um it's a whole shit show going on right here <laughs> so the bottom of the deck is the moon <clears throat> the overarching energy is the death card and the four of swords totally relatable like somebody's transitioning something's dying out and they need to rest and recuperate afterwards totally get it um with the moon energy here, this is about, you know, um, things that are unknown playing in the background, maybe secrets that are being kept. Um, there's definitely something not being said. At the heart of the reading is the Ace of Swords. Now, I will say you've got three aces here. So those are gifts from the universe. So yay for you. Um, but you're finally having the clarity. Um, and how to move forward. I feel as though you've been in a position or you were in a situation where you were very torn between two people or two things that you were emotionally invested in. Two things that equally made you extremely happy. But notice how there's three people in this card. <laughs> Just saying. So I feel as though you've made a decision. Um, you could also... I'm also getting a little bit of spy energy here. So maybe there's somebody spying on you or you're spying on them. Um, kind of keeping tabs. I feel as though you are looking at the situation with very, very clear eyes. You look back at what you've invested, the time that you've invested in it. You're, you know, kind of debating on if you want to continue on. Um, that as it relates to, okay, here's the thing. So, so for the one, the man that I'm talking to, this is a masculine, okay. It doesn't necessarily have to be a man, but I see a man and two women. But this could very well be just these. Are, if I'm just speaking energetically, this is somebody needing to make a decision between a fire sign and an earth sign. And I feel like they you finally have the clarity to do so. Because I feel like you want to come back together. You want to reunite or may you you really were struggling with this decision very much so personally i think you're going towards the the the, the um the earth sign because that's the end result because you want to reconcile with this person you want to come back around and i feel like you really spent a lot of time deliberating Almost too much time. You spent a lot of time deliberating on what it is that you want to do. What is it that's going to make you happy? You've been juggling. Um, lots of... I get the energy of just... Not just the juggle, but you've been... You've, been, you've got a lot going on. Like you've got... 
you're juggling between two people or two lives. They're you're almost like you keep separate lives. Because for me, these are two very separate foundations, okay? And you've been fighting really hard to keep them separate, but it causes you a great amount of burden. Um, and I see where maybe you took too long, you were taking too long to make a decision on something and somebody may have just decided to walk away. They have their own clarity and they're like, okay. Um, otherwise, this is you working on yourself, building on yourself enough strength to walk away from something that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. Um, leaning into the star energy of wishing on a star, wishing that something else could happen, wishing for something different. The star, when the star shows up, the wish is granted, it just doesn't look like what you thought it was going to be. Um, and this tower moment could very well be because these two things are just not, it's not, that ain't it. So I feel like with this happening, somebody walking away, it eliminates one of these situations that caused the tower. But that's okay. Because you've got a new passionate opportunity for love that's sitting right in front of you. You could be a little confused. You might have a whole bunch of options in front of you. But the universe is trying to heal the situation and balance it out. So that you can go into the new cycle. Because with every ending comes a new beginning. You can't go into a new cycle until the previous cycle has transitioned and died and you have healed from it that's how it works yeah okay so before we move into the next round of cards and i also see victory and success so let's go from the bottom so i have victory and success after this heartache, heartbreak, and separation in regards to a union. So maybe you walked away from a situation that you were committed to, that you had been committed to, that had previously broken your heart. You may have even felt very um, attached to it, like um, in, a, in a very unhealthy way, like de codependent, um, addicted to... A certain situation addicted to this relationship that you've been in for a long time um, but the cycle is closing out we've got the world the justice card so literally the cycle is closing out you're standing your ground you're looking really good the universe is trying to balance it even the scales even the playing field so there's really no reason for you to be in your head about this person from your past okay because you have the ability yeah you're just working you're working on yourself Keep doing so. You're doing a great job. Okay. If this is where we part ways after this part, um, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like a reading that's more aligned with your story, um, hit me up on one of my social media platforms. The description um, box will have that information. Um, we'll take these. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. If this is where we part ways, thank you so much for your support. I'll see you guys next week. And for those of you who want to purchase the um, extended, follow the instructions in the description box. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Have a great week, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.